The Phase Out of Methyl Bromide by Victoria Capeza, Mahina Ma, Danica Baptiste, and Nick Bello. Methyl bromide was a pesticide used to control insects, nematodes, weeds, pathogens, and rodents. It was used in agriculture mainly for soil fumigation. The chemical formula is CH3Br, and this is the space filling model of it. Methyl bromide, as a gas, would be injected 12 to 24 inches beneath the soil of crops. It would sterilize the soil and kill the majority of soil organisms. Immediately after it was injected, the soil was covered with plastic tarps, which would slow the movement of methyl bromide to the atmosphere. More methyl bromide would also be emitted into the atmosphere after the tarps were removed. This graph shows what methyl bromide was used as far as crops go. As you can see, tomatoes, strawberries, and other produce were the main crops that it was used for. Methyl bromide was not only toxic to the organisms in the soil, but it was also dangerous to other things as well. Human exposure to high concentrations of methyl bromide can result in central nervous system and respiratory system failure, as well as damage to the lungs, eyes, and skin. Methyl bromide also contributed to the depletion of the ozone layer. This graph shows the U.S. states that used the most methyl bromide. California and Florida were the top users. According to research by NASA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the World Meteorological Association, methyl bromide depletes the ozone layer at a faster rate than chlorofluorocarbons. The ozone depletion potential of methyl bromide is 40%. Farmers have suffered from illnesses caused by the toxicity of methyl bromide. The Montreal Protocol, an international treaty addressing the ozone layer depletion, implemented a phase-out timeline where developed countries will freeze the use of methyl bromide in 1991 and complete the phase-out by 2005. Developing countries will freeze consumption in 2002 and complete the phase-out by 2015. Title VI of the Clean Air Act of 1970 requires that all substances with an ozone depletion potential of 0.2 or greater be phased out in the U.S. within seven years. These compounds are considered Class I ozone-depleting substances and cause significant damage to the Earth's protective ozone layer. Methyl bromide use is justified under critical use exemptions where any alternative use will cause market disruption. Emergency use exemptions, quarantine, and precip pre-shipment exemptions also apply. Some alternative uses include metham sodium and chloroprigrin. The impact of the regulations have generally been the raised prices of agricultural products. Major participators against methyl bromide use. The US EPA, or Environmental Protection Agency, uh, became the driving force behind the reduction of methyl bromide use in the United States, providing a plan spanning over 10 years to reduce methyl bromide use. The Stakeholders in Methyl Bromide Reduction is an uh, organization that provides a way for methyl bromide purchasers and fumigators to collaborate with government agencies and researchers working to reduce methyl bromide use and promote safer alternative pesticides. This organization is based at New Zealand. The United Nations Environment Program is an organization responsible for working with governments as well as the private sector to achieve responsible behavior regarding environmental policies. This program includes policies aimed at reducing methyl bromide use and increasing awareness in developing countries. The importance of policy. Strong national policies are needed to meet the methyl bromide phase-out requirements and to promote widespread adoption of alternatives. Strong policy measures bring about a faster phase-out in a cost-effective way. Promotes the transitioning by providing benefits that would support their efforts in transitioning to ozone-friendly alternatives. Notable policies. The Montreal Protocol is an international treaty designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances believed to be responsible for ozone depletion. The image below shows the 20th meaning of the Montreal Protocol. Effects of policies. Laws. The majority of countries responding to the survey reported some form of national pesticide legislation and regulatory system that governs the use and imports of all pesticides, including methyl bromide. Restriction on imports. Governments are required to report imports of methyl bromide under the Montreal Protocol. 
Some countries require that imports specify the intended, use, intended use of methyl bromide. Yo, yo, stop taking a nap. It's time for a wrap. That is cray. There once was a common pesticide used by farmers called methyl bromide. Yo, ha, that is cray. Call me CH3BR. I'm depleting ish. Number one pesticide in this ish. So, that is cray. CH3BR can be a liquid or gas. When you're around it, you should wear a mask. What's happening, yo? That is cray. It was used to get rid of insects and weeds, but nobody realized the environmental needs. Shizzle. Ha! That is cray. It was damaging and a big time harmer, causing nervous and respiratory failure to some farmers. Yo, what's up? It was restoring the ozone layer too, so the EPA came to the rescue. What's up, yo? That is cray. I just believe so hard the EPA wanna find me. First EPA gotta find me. Sup yo shizzle yo. That is cray. 50% will be stopped by 2001 and by 2005 it'll all be gone. What's happening yo? That is cray. Shizzle. Methyl bromide is now in the past. These changes will help our ozone layer last. That's what's up shizzle. That shit cray. That shit cray. We are gangsta.